When are we going to hear anything besides the White House tours being? Well, I can tell you that there are a number of uh, uh, ways that the White House uh, also has to deal with the consequences of sequester. The White House and the components of the White House are affected by uh, the sequester in a way that's similar to other government agencies. I can tell you that we're making significant, uh, that we're also faced with making some tough decisions when it comes to uh, ongoing projects, uh, when it comes to purchasing equipment and supplies. Uh, but we're also a pretty personnel heavy uh, agency, if you will. So that means that there will be agencies, that there will be employees of components at, 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 who work here at the White House that will be facing pay cuts, that will be facing furloughs. And again, this is the result of a policy that Democrats and Republicans agree is really bad. It's bad for our economy. It's a bad way to run a government. It doesn't create jobs, and it doesn't do that much to reduce the deficit over the long term. So there's got to be a good alternative. Will be made public. Those details will be made public. Well, I know that the uh, Office of Management and Budget has put forward uh, a, a variety of charts that indicate the impact of the budget, uh, of the sequester on the budget, including the budget of the White House. And what I've described to you is the practical impact of that, to help you get a sense of, of what behind the numbers is the tangible impact here. And that means that there will be some projects that are suspended. It means that there will be some supply purchases that are put off. And it's going to have an impact on the personnel here at the White House, pay cuts, furloughs, and other things. In the West Wing? So, I'm sorry? In the West Wing as well? In the West Wing as well. Yeah, but who works at the White House?